Good morning, super cool party people. Welcome back to the theater. I am in the sound booth because I only have my small tripod. I don't know why I've only been bringing my small tripod recently. Like, I have my bigger one at the house. I just, I don't know. We're just reverting back to the small one, back to the good old days of when I first started to vlog. Also, funny story. They um, cut the counter out here. This is just a table. It's something about when other people bring their sound equipment and it has to, it's too high to go underneath, so they just, they just cut it out the other day. They knew it was a problem. It wasn't like, oh no, this person showed up. Quick, let's cut it out. It was, oh, I guess it's finally come to this. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about that, but I had a very weird dream last night. Wow, so it took place at the house kind of, the one that I'm staying at with the puppers, but there was like an alien invasion and they were like down on the far side of the lawn or maybe it was like a bigger, bigger yard, like at a field, I don't know. So they came and they like basically killed everybody in this house, which was like a town because there was a lot of people there, but I got spared, which was kind of nice. And the queen was there, I think, but then there were also like cast members from Brooklyn Nine-Nine there, like Terry Crews was there and was a drone. Like I was able to like fly him like a drone to like get into the house and I like shrink him because he wouldn't fit through the door. It was really weird. But yeah, the like weird aliens slash pirates slash kidnappers, I don't know what they were. Um, let me survive, which was nice. Like I said, the queen was there, and so Drone Terry was then off doing his own thing, but he was like this big, which was like, like, like a toddler size, like that big, um, because he accidentally got shrunk in the drone phase feature, and, um, he was like trying to save everything, and the queen was like, I'm the queen, you listen to me, like, we're just gonna go with these guys right now, and he's like, but, also, like, they're like so small. So then we went inside the house, and... Jenna Marbles was there <laughs> and she had a fish tank and she was trying to get like ASMR sounds from a fish so she had like one of those like mics that you like put on your person just like taped to the top of the tank just inside not in the water though she like wanted to get like the sounds of the fish jumping I don't know uh, but the volume kept being too loud or something, so it would pick up our conversations, then it would echo, and it was like crazy loud. And then, like, we were sitting at the table with the fish tank, her and I, and then, like, all the, like, aliens, pirates, whatever they were, were, like, along the side. They looked like humans, but I think they were aliens. Uh, and then we start to record her podcast. <laughs> And like in the middle of the podcast, I'm like, oh yeah, we're just sitting here like we've been invaded like these people are here They didn't care. They didn't say anything and it was so it was just so weird And then I think I got out later and then I went to McDonald's and I was trying to get My lunch or my food or whatever it was and it was taking forever to come and it, and then this guy showed up and he was like Oh like rough and tumble and he's like ah blah blah and then just starts dropping that he won the lottery and he's like yeah I won fourteen thousand dollars like he was trying to impress me or something I'm like I really just want to go inside I want my food and then I go back in and my food finally comes And I got nuggets with a large fry and it was nuggets and two hash browns I don't want hash browns and then I woke up it was weird. So yeah, that's like one of the most vivid and strange dreams I've had for a while. Also, at some point in the night, I woke up because Harley was like, couldn't breathe coughing, and I'm like, oh my god, the dog's gonna die. And then he like did that for a while, and then he stopped. I was like, oh my god, the dog's dead. And so I like roll over to the side of the bed, and I'm like trying to feel him to like see if he's breathing, and he's just not moving. Like you think when you like pet a dog, he'll like acknowledge, no, he's not moving. And I'm like trying to like put my hand in front of him, like trying to like kind of pick him up because he doesn't like that and he's like not moving. And then finally he moved and I was like, okay, we're good. You know, finally I could feel him breathing and so I was like, okay, we're good. And then I like laid back in bed. I was like, but what if he wasn't? And so I go back over and like manhandle him again until he finally moved. So I was like, that's good. And then when I woke up at 6.30 to give Dixie her pill, I was like, I should check on Harley again. So I roll over to the side of the bed and I'm like, Doug, and like just like Doug, and then he was okay. He survived. He's fine. We're all good. I have not murdered the dogs 
fantastic. I think that they expect their parents to never come back now because like they're just following me around like lost puppy dogs like I guess we're yours now so they'll be so excited tonight but I've rambled for like five minutes which is like the length that all my vlogs have been lately so maybe this will be good it'll be a little bit longer but I should probably go have my breakfast drink and get to work and then tomorrow I am off and I'm so excited about that but gotta get through today first so I'll see you later hola hola i always it's so funny like whenever i text or see people i always say hola and then not hello and i don't know why anyway i am back home from work it was a, like a slightly longer day than i thought it was gonna be because someone needed to show me how to do something and then i decided to put makeup on because i was feeling quite a bit like a ghost earlier today like i just Bleh. hi harley come on up come on up come on up oh Look at this sweetie. He is not having it. Anyway, um, <laughs> okay, fine, you can go down. These puppers kept me up tons of times last night, but I am home now, and these are like my last few hours with them. I don't know what they're doing behind me. Uh, their parents should be coming home just after midnight tonight, so I need to do a few things. I'm gonna write a blog post first behind me here, and then and then I have to do things like clean all the dishes. I like did half of them last night. I've got like a couple of pots and pans too. I need to feed myself because I haven't had lunch and it is two o'clock almost. <laughs> I'm not super hungry so we're okay. And then I need to tidy up the living room and then probably like make my bed again. Oh, cause yeah, I think, did I mention it earlier? When I woke up at like three in the morning or whatever, I had managed to kick off my sheet and two of the blankets and I had the top blanket on top of me. So I don't know what happened. Everything else was on the ground. But anyways, I'm going to go write a blog post now. And yeah. <laughs> My blog post is done. It's It started out as just talking about how unproductive I've been this month compared to what I want to be because I was away and then I've been here puppy sitting. And then it kind of veered into self-doubt and the self-doubt I'm having with the whole querying process. So that's the thing. So feel free to check it out. Oops, sorry puppy. <laughs> um, so feel free to check that out. It'll be linked down below. Like always, I'll try to get the actual post, but... Uh, if I forget, my blog is always posted there. I did all the dishes except for the ones that I just used to make lunch because I have also fed myself. It's only, it's three o'clock, that's fine. It's close enough. And I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit now and then later we'll do some more cleaning. And then perhaps if I'm super ambitious, I'll go jump on the treadmill for like half an hour or something so I can like feel like I've done something with my day. But I definitely need to like clean and clean. But first, it's time to be super lazy. <laughs> okay, so I actually walked to the store because I really wanted junk food. I got these nacho cheese chips. And I'm not gonna lie, I had a super late lunch, so I don't know if I'm gonna have dinner. I might just have chips. <laughs> Shh. These puppies over here are being all like tappy, tappy, tippy, tippy. Uh, super annoying because they wanna eat dinner. They usually eat between 6 and 6.30. It's like 6.03 now, so I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes and then they can eat. But they're like tippy, tappy, tippy, tappy and just drinking so loudly. Anyway, I learned something very interesting when I walked to the store. It's that it's not so cold out to go for walks anymore because I've been waiting to like go for nature walks, just like, you know, get out of the house and it's been pretty cold, but it was four degrees, so it's quite warm. It's so bad, like, I mean, I feel like seven degrees is like, oh, this is a nice spring day. So four degrees is not so bad for going walking, so that's exciting. Uh, that's something I wanna get back into, or get into, I guess, once I get back home, walking around, although we do have an elliptical now, which was delivered while I was away. It's still not upstairs, but we have an elliptical, so that's exciting, and a bike. So, you know, this is the year to stop being a lazy butt. It's not even to get in shape, it's just to stop being a lazy butt. Anyway, 
with that, I'm gonna go eat these, I think. I'm not gonna eat them right now. Um, but I'm gonna go sit on the couch and I'm actually watching some Food Network now. You probably can't see it from here because I've seen like most of the HGTV shows at this point. So they're all reruns and that's no fun. So I've been sitting here doing some more work, posted another blog post to go up tomorrow. I have two sleeping puppies and they're snoring just a little bit and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to get stuff done. I, I should turn off the TV and put on my headphones and get into my query packages. So maybe that's what I'll do in like the next 20 minutes here. Maybe I'll go walk on the, go on, go on the treadmill for a bit so I can like feel like I worked out or something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm stagnating. I'm not really doing anything. I'm just clicking between sites. So I should get up or I should buckle down is basically where we're at. I think I like the idea of the treadmill because then I'll feel like, yeah, I worked out and I did it twice while I was here. <laughs> we're getting, we're getting back into this less lazy life, whatever. So yeah, maybe I'll go put on my shoes and go do that and then watch something on Netflix while I do that. And then when I come back up, I should shower because I feel like it's been a few days since I showered and um, then, query package time. Ugh. Very exciting, but also just like, oh, I don't wanna. <laughs> My blog post actually that I wrote that's going up tomorrow is the just like the, the whole hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Like hoping that someone's gonna be like, wow, I like your book, but also preparing for the fact that most people probably aren't gonna contact me at all. So, <sighs> yay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go now and um, do something. <laughs> okay, so in exciting news, I found out that Center Stage is on Netflix now. Maybe it was always on Netflix, I don't know, but I got really excited so I started to watch it while I was running on the treadmill for half an hour. I mean, I didn't run the whole time, but still pretty proud of myself that I didn't get off after like 10 minutes and be like, I'm bored. And then like right near the end, Jessica's dad called and I'm like, Ha, I'm running, ha, panic, what do I do? Um, and so they're just saying that they made into Calgary and at this moment, everything looks like it is on time, which means they should be here just after midnight. And these puppies just don't know what's gonna happen. They're gonna be so excited, they're gonna bark so much. Um, but I think I'm just gonna cool down for a couple now because I am quite red, as you can see. And um, then I'm gonna jump in the shower and then probably like put away the dishes and continue to pack up because once I'm done in the shower then I can pack up my shower stuff blah 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 <sighs> yeah but I'm feeling great endorphins who knew I know but I feel good <laughs> okay so I am out of the shower I am so clean it feels so nice even though my hair is so short it's gonna dry really quick but right now it's just dripping everywhere so I have like way too much towel on <laughs> I feel like I should be leading a conga line but um yeah I feel great I feel awesome and maybe I'm gonna get some work done I don't know, I need to like do a little bit of cleaning like I mentioned before Jessica's parents get back. And also I need to pet these two cause like just look at them, they're so adorable. But yeah, so I'm gonna dry off, maybe putter on the computer for a bit and then gotta pack, gotta clean. Cause I've like just completely spread out over the table. I've been here for a week. I like to make myself comfortable so I can work. Okay. I'm going now for real. <laughs> okay, so I am mostly packed and everything's mostly clean. I unloaded the dishwasher, which Jessica's parents put on the day they left. I was like, I don't know where everything goes, so I'm just not <laughs> gonna touch it. But I unloaded everything that I could. There's just a few things in there and I washed the last of my dishes. I'm mostly packed, all my bathroom stuff is packed up now, just still in the bathroom, because I'm gonna need some tomorrow morning. And um, I think all I have left to do is tidy the living room, which is very exciting. I'm not gonna do any query work tonight, I've decided. I am regretting not eating dinner now, because it's like 9.30 and it's too late to eat dinner now, but I guess I'm just gonna eat those chips right there. Uh, <laughs> This can't work out today, it's fine. Anyway, um, I'm feeling pretty good. I think Jessica's parents should be back in about three hours. I'm guessing around like 12.30 or something. These puppies just, they're gonna be so excited. So excited. But yeah, feeling good, gonna snack, gonna be lazy. Yeah, 
good end to the night. And then tomorrow I get to be back in my own bed. I'm so excited about, like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Like I said, this is a comfortable bed. This is a great house. Like, I, I didn't grow up here, but I was here a lot growing up because good friends with Jessica. Um, but it's just not, it's not the same as being in your own bed. So I'll be very excited for that and just to have more clothes because, yeah, I mean, yeah. And I don't, this hair, I think I've decided because every time I shower, we're just going to talk about the Lush products. I really love the shampoo bar. Like I am 100% sold on that. I think it's great. The conditioner, I don't think I'll get again. I just, I don't like it doesn't feel like a real conditioner and so I'm like, did I get that hair? I don't know. So I think when that's done, I'll get a different conditioner. Uh, maybe I'll go with Lush again, see how their products are. If not, I definitely have a bunch of conditioner at the house that I should work through. But yeah, I, I like the smell, but that's about all. Yeah, it's fine. Well, Dixie, do you think it's time to end the vlog? Mm. Oh. Dixie doesn't want to give me the love. What about Harley? Hi, Harley. Oh, yes. Anyway, I'm annoying Dixie to no end right now, so I'm gonna sit up. Um, it's just about 10 o'clock. I ate a bunch of chips, and now I feel really sick. Uh, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I will see you tomorrow when I get to go back home. Yes! <laughs> Good night.